right, so we made it to the car, and now we're about to head for the commute to the hospital. What's different about today, actually, is like now we're near the end of the academic year for residency. Residency years uh, start July 1st, and they go up until July 1st the following year. So now we have juniors that are months away from becoming, you know, uh, more senior in their position and they're going to be able to take independent call. So tonight I'm on call with one of those juniors. It's only the first three hours of my call and that could either be a good thing or a really bad thing. Uh, hopefully in my case it's going to be a good thing. I mean he's an excellent resident that I'm going to be on call with. So at least for the first three hours I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed. I'm going to kind of let him take the reins and get used to being an independent radiologist. So hopefully for the first three hours it'll be kind of a chill time and uh, so let's go. All right so let's talk commute. I'm about to head out so what I usually like to do I have about a 30 minute or so sometimes 35 minute commute. So I usually like to listen to podcasts. Various different podcasts I like to listen to however most of the time they are usually medicine related. If you didn't watch my video about quality versus quantity, some people may think listening to medicine uh, through audio files might not be the best quality. You might need to sit down with a book, especially for radiology, looking at images, but I'm of a different mindset. I think the more you hear things, the more you're exposed to things, the quantity of time that you spend uh, being exposed to different things, you'll eventually start to remember them. So for me, I listen to podcasts and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna listen, put on a podcast and head out for the commute. So let's go. All right, so just pulled up to the hospital, chose my parking spot. I'm about 20 minutes or so before the beginning of my shift. I prefer to always get here a little bit early rather than being late, because at the end of the day, you know, I am gonna be the only doctor that's gonna stay back. Everyone else is gonna go home, so you can't really be late. It's not fair to your colleagues that worked all day. So I always prefer to get here a little bit early. So the only way that I'm really able to get through situations like this, obviously nobody wants to be on call. Being on call is never fun, but you have to kind of remind yourself and put yourself in the right perspective. You know, as I'm driving with this type of career in particular, you really see how finite life really is. You see some of the worst things you're there for people during their worst times and it just kind of reminds you that at the end of the day you know there's nothing special about me um i was lucky enough blessed enough to be able to given to be given the opportunity to go to medical school now i have a career like this i get to help people every single day i get to help other physicians help you know you know their patients so it's, it's a very i'm in a very blessed situation and that's something you know that you remind yourself so that you have the energy, you know, when you're tired, when it's three o'clock in the morning, you're working, everyone else is asleep, your friends might be out partying, your colleagues, other colleagues of yours might be home sleeping, but you're over here working. You know, it's just, you have to remind yourself that at the end of the day, like, you know, you've been placed in various different positions. Everyone's just a pawn. We're all living in this world together. All of us are going to die one day. It doesn't matter what you believe in. All of us are going to eventually end up dying. So we're all placed in various different roles in this society. And this is this happens to be the place that I was blessed enough to be put in. So that's something, you know, that constantly goes through my mind. And I have to remind myself more, that more, more often than not as the night goes on because obviously it's, it's, it gets tough. It gets tough in the middle of the night as you start to get more tired, as it starts to get really busy, it gets really tough. But that's something to keep in mind. And one more final thought before I head inside. One of the really cool things about this career in particular is like I mentioned today that I have a junior resident who's going to be taking care of the call for the first three hours and I'm kind of there as like a backup to help him out, teach him and kind of just be there for emergencies is the fact that you know as a doctor you are also a teacher you teach the next generation of physicians that come you know everyone that you come in contact with even people that might be more senior than you if you know something you teach you you teach it to them they teach it to you and just the, the fact that you're involved in something like this and you're training literally the next generation of physicians, there's things that I got taught by my, you know, senior residents. And, you know, I, when I even became an attending, I'm still using those same facts that I had learned from senior residents. The first time I ever placed a central line, I wasn't taught by an attending. I was taught by one of my senior residents until this day when I do procedures. I still use the same techniques that I, that I learned from that particular resident. So that is something truly unique and very very fulfilling 
and that's one of the best parts about being a doctor. So tonight, um, you know, I'm going to be there just for backup, make sure he's okay, teach him any, you know, pearls of wisdom that I may have. I don't think I have many, but, you know, I, whatever I do have, I will try to convey it on to the next generation. And then in a couple months, he's going to be taking call independently. And, you know, maybe I can teach him a thing or two. So let's hope that this night isn't terrible, but uh, I'll check in with you again. Let's head inside. So here we are in the hospital. So one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna check in with the B team, make sure everything was good, take a little bit of a handout almost, find out any anticipated issues for the night and then go from there. All right, so talked with the day team. My junior resident is there. So he's gonna start picking up the studies from the ER. I came to the resident room and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna watch via the computer over there, watch the list, see how busy the ER gets. I'll jump in and help out when needed, but I'm gonna let basically the first year kind of take hold of the call, experience what it's like to be on call. He's also gonna be manning the pager. So we'll kind of go from there and see how it goes. In the meantime, I might take this opportunity to study a little bit. Um, he doesn't know that I'm watching the list from the computer, but this is the way residency goes. It feels like chaos while you're there, but it's organized chaos. So I'm watching everything that's happening. I'm eyeballing the studies as well, just to make sure we're not missing anything huge and detrimental to the patient. But I'm gonna kind of let him feel the pressure of call, but at the same time, I'm still there as a backup, even though he doesn't know it. So. In the meantime, I'm just gonna try to maybe study just for a little bit and uh, then I'll check in with you again. All right, so I did order for myself some chicken wings. And I thought that maybe while I had a junior resident here, I was going to be able to sit and have some food, but it doesn't look like that's happening. We're actually getting hit pretty hard. So I'm going to actually jump in and I'm going to have to kind of take control and try to get caught up with the emergency room. I guess it's the life of a doctor. You try to eat when you can, you know, maybe when I first got them, I was kind of browsing to see if how busy it was going to get. I didn't eat it. Now I regret it. This is future me realizing that I never gave a proper conclusion to that video. Night shifts are unpredictable. That night became quite busy. And at the end of the day, patient care comes first. It trumps every other priority. So I never got to give a proper conclusion. But with that being said, that's a quick glimpse into what a typical night on call as a radiology resident can be. If you're into this content, things related to internal medicine, radiology, tech, you know, check out some of the content. Please like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, we'll check in again.